The great thing about No Limit Texas Hold'em is that you can protect your hand by betting big and placing your opponents under pressure and making them make the decision. No Limit means what it says. There is no limit to the amount you can raise at any time. If you want to raise or bet a pot, you can push all your money in. This is why the term all in has become so popular. The game we are watching here is a 1-2 no limit game. That means that the blinds are 1,000 for the small blind and 2,000 for the big blind. If we were playing a 5-10 no limit game, the small blind would be $5 and the big blind would be 10 Otherwise, there is no difference at all. In this example, Stuart is going to raise and makes it 8,000 to go. In a limit game, he would have to have made it 4,000. Here Stuart can choose to raise as little as 4, but can raise as much as he wants. As you can see, the call for 7,000 is a lot harder than only putting in the extra 3 if it was a limit game. Boris in the small blind decides to call, and will get to see a flop. Boris decides to check the flop over to Stuart, who now bets 15,000. Again, there is no limit on how much anyone can bet. The only requirement is that Stuart has to bet at least 2,000. Boris decides to call the 15 and will get to see a turn. Now on the turn, Boris checks again over to Stuart. Stuart, in this case, decides to check as well. Now we're going to see what is commonly referred to as a free card. Neither player has decided to bet, so we get to see the river card with no action. Boris likes the look of the river, and he comes out and bets 50,000. As you can see, the betting can be dangerous in a no-limit game. In a limit game, the bet would only be 4,000, and it would be an easy call for Stuart to make. But now that Stuart's forced to make 50,000, he must be a lot more confident with his hand. He doesn't like the call, but he throws in his 50,000. Boris has hit a set of sevens, which means that he has three of a kind. That beats Stuart's top pair of kings. Well that's it for lesson number one, the basics of poker. Your homework for this week is pretty simple. I want you to familiarise yourself with the blinds and the button as they move around the table. I then want you to memorise the hand ranking systems. There's no point playing poker if you don't know that a flush beats a straight. Lastly, I want you to play a bit of No Limit and Limit Hold'em at home with your friends and family. I'm James Potter and I'm pushing the chips in your direction.